Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have for you all the things that I've learned about writing and publishing after releasing five books. If that sounds good to you, then stick around. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Maddie Suggs and I am a writer and author of five books. And on this channel, I talk about writing and publishing and how to get through it all with a positive mindset. So if that's something that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. I'm trying to post twice a week, but for sure, once a week. So let's hop right into today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about, it might seem obvious to you, but <laughs> my favorite part about writing and publishing is actually the writing part. I've learned that I really love the writing and I know that uh, I said it was obvious, but I also think that a lot of writers find it difficult. And yes, it is difficult, but I do enjoy it. So the enjoyment outweighs the the stress of it all. So I really enjoy writing, especially writing that first draft when I'm outlining and I'm creating the plot for the first time. It's really, really enjoyable. The next thing that I've learned is that all books are different. So whatever experience you had with one book, you can't expect to have the same experience with the next book. The book that you're writing might have been really difficult and thus you expect the next book to be difficult, but that might not be so. The next book might be the easiest book you've ever written. And so you can compare one book to the next. So I think that's a very valuable lesson that I learned because when I was writing and rewriting between us, I found it a little difficult to just get to the end. But then when I started writing the sequel to Between Us, I really did it quickly and easily. And I am really having a nice experience with the sequel of Between Us. So I don't think it's fair to compare one book to the next or compare your experience while you're writing the book from one book to the next because each one is unique to itself. The next thing I have learned about writing and publishing is that Marketing is not my favorite thing in the world. I think I've mentioned this before, but marketing does not come easily to me. Selling does not come easily to me and it just feels forced and I don't like it. So I don't know. I struggle with just getting the word out there for uh, my book as far as my social media is concerned because I just don't, I honestly don't know how to do it in, in a nice authentic way, I think. I try my best, but it's just difficult. So because of that, I've learned other ways to promote your book. And that leads me to the next thing I've learned. You don't need social media to sell book. I think a lot of writers that are in the industry right now think that social media is where it's at and that you have to be there. And sure, it's a nice asset and it's a nice way to build your brand and communicate with your readers and just have a nice community. But as far as actual sales, are concerned, you don't necessarily need to do it on social media. You can advertise your book specifically on Amazon. I did a video on this topic a few months back, probably maybe even a year back, all about how to sell your book on Amazon and how to add categories so that your books can be found. So I'll definitely link it here so you guys can check it out and I'll link it in the description box below so you guys can click on it and watch. The next thing I learned about writing and publishing is that writing and editing are really the most important thing you can do for yourself as far as your writing career. Make sure that you write a solid story, that you know the techniques, that you're constantly learning and getting better. Um, there is no such thing as perfect. All you can do is your best and as long as you do that, you should be proud of yourself then go ahead and edit your novel with a professional editor. Give your story a good chance of succeeding by giving it to a professional editor to just tighten it up and make it as best as possible. When it comes to writing and publishing, the truth is that there is no such thing as perfection and no one, you're not gonna please everyone and the best thing you can do for yourself is just Keep learning, keep growing, do your best at every chance you can, and then go forward and put it out there and then write the next book and the next book because that's the only way that you're going to get better and you're going to improve. If you're just holding on to your manuscript thinking that it's not perfect yet, it may never get there. So don't get stuck in the perfection aspect of writing because honestly you're never going to get there you're never going to feel it's perfect you just have to get to a point where you feel your story 
is strong, where you feel like you love the story that you've written, where you've done everything you can to make it as tight as you can, meaning hire a professional editor, and then get it out into the world for readers to enjoy it and for you to just get that book out into the world and move on to your next book. Next thing I've learned about writing and publishing is that setting timelines is crucial for your success. I know that um, a lot of us end up writing books and we sometimes go on for years and years and years and never get it published. And I don't think that's healthy. I don't think that's good for your growth as a writer. It's not good for your confidence as a writer. So I think setting timelines, little short timelines along the way will help you um, be successful in the end. For example, when you are in the outlining phase, give yourself, even if it's two weeks or a month, to really outline it and get it strong. Um, then move on to the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna write the first draft in the next 30 days, or I'm gonna write the first draft in the next 90 days. Give yourself timelines along the way so that you can just see that needle moving so that you can see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And by setting deadlines, I think it will also help you sit down to write. At least it's done that for me. I know that every time I set a deadline for outlining, writing, and publishing, I force myself to sit down because I know that I've made a schedule for myself, I've made a timeline for myself, there's no one else telling me what to do. So if I don't do it for myself, I could potentially not get anything done, right? I could just end up writing, not writing the, a book, not outlining, not keeping myself accountable because there's no one else to do it. So I think when you set schedules for yourself and set timelines for yourself will help you get to that next level of having an actual finished product in your hand. The next thing I've learned about writing and publishing is that, I guess I've already mentioned this a little, there is no such thing as a perfect product. No matter what you do, you can't please everyone and if you try to please everyone, you will likely please no one. So the best thing that you can do, which is what I've done, is just try my best. That's all I have. I don't have anything else. All I have is the best I can do for who I am at this moment and what I've learned thus far. And I think that will carry you a long way. I've published five books with that mindset and I think each book that I publish gets better. Each book that I write gets better and I intend on continuing this um, trend of writing and publishing for the rest of my life because it's something that I really enjoy. The next thing that I learned about writing and publishing is that you have to set time for yourself, meaning you have to quiet the noise that comes from social media these days. It's gonna be easy for us to get distracted with what everybody else is doing, how they're doing it, how they're writing, how they're marketing, how they're showing up in the world that if you don't put the blinders on, you could get lost in the midst of that. And essentially, it could just paralyze you. It could just make you to where you can't do anything because you're looking at this person and they're doing it this way. And then you look at the other person and they're doing it that way. And then you're like all over the place trying to figure out your voice, your style, your brand, your your cover design, your writing style, your voice as a writer. So. It's not just about social media, it's also what the books that you read. You know, sometimes you're reading a book and you're like, oh my God, I love that style. And then you try to, you know, copy that style. And I think when you're in the middle of writing and publishing and just trying to build yourself as a brand and just showing up as yourself as best you can, you've got to make sure that you limit the outside noise as much as pos possible. I haven't always done that. But I notice that when I do, I'm at my best because I am just showing up as me instead of showing up as everybody else, little bits of everybody else. So if you're in the middle of writing and you think or you've done writing and you're in the process of publishing your book, I suggest that you take a step back and just focus on you. Get off social media, stop looking at other writers and what they're doing all the time. I'm not saying that you can't get inspired by other writers. I get inspired by other writers all the time and other books. But when I notice that it's interfering with my own voice, that's when I have to step back and just quiet 
things down just like eliminate all the noise and just remember who I am my voice my style my brand showing up as my authentic self so there you have it you guys those are the things I have learned after writing and publishing five books I'm in the process of writing two more books right now I'm hoping to have my nonfiction released by the end of the year but I'm not sure how it's going to happen because of everything that's going on so we'll see remember if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with all your writerly friends and remember to subscribe on your way out I would love to hear from you so leave me a comment below letting me know if there's anything you've learned in your career thus far whether you have published or not if you're writing something right now what is something crucial that you have learned that can help the rest of us maybe get a little more uh, clear in our process of writing in our careers in our mindset I would love to hear from you well you guys I'll see you guys again in another video in a few days until next time stay safe